So 3G is officially shutting down in the US next year in 2022 and this basically means that you're not going to be able to make calls or receive them anymore, you won't be able to text and of course you won't be able to access any data. And this also goes for all the three major carriers in the US including AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile and basically once the 3G network shuts down your device is literally going to be useless, you won't be able to do any of the things that you were able to do before and it's crazy to believe that this is happening because the iPhone 3G which came out back in 2008 was literally the first ever iPhone to support the 3G network in the United States and this was pretty big back in the day and to think that this phone is no longer going to be usable at all is pretty sad but if you are still using one of these older iPhones which I'm sure a lot of people still are you're going to need to upgrade eventually once the 3G network shuts down and this is because the oldest iPhone model that's still going to be able to work once the network is shut down is the iPhone 6 and the reason why is because the iPhone 6 supports voice over LTE which is basically when you make a call the, the LTE doesn't have to switch to 3G like it still stays on LTE and this is a function that's only supported by iPhone 6 and above and this was not supported on the older iPhone version so that's actually one of the reasons why you won't be able to use an old iPhone like the iPhone 5 that you see here. Now the other really funny thing is that this isn't only exclusive to iPhones or even phones for that matter. Teslas are also going to experience this because the first few Teslas that came out relied on the AT&T 3G network and Tesla is basically going to force you to upgrade the module to a 4G LTE system for $200 which is pretty crazy because these cars will literally not work because they have 3G. Now when the time does come to finally upgrade your phone you might be thinking which phone should I get and I would actually recommend getting either the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 8 because these phones right now are super super cheap. You can usually pick them up for around 100 or 150 bucks on eBay and of course they'll continue to receive Apple's latest software updates at least for the next couple years. Now a lot of you guys might be wondering will my newer iPhone still work and it should still work perfectly fine. This is pretty much only applicable to iPhones that were released before the iPhone 6. But anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little sad to see that the 3G network is officially shutting down but I guess it's making more room to make 5G a better network in the future and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.